Well, hey guys, good to be back with you again. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here. And we've got so much to talk about. So many good things are taking place um, because of what we see happening from uh, a heavenly perspective. Now, if we look at our world today and we, we take and examine what's going on, all the shaking that's happening, all the crazy mess that's happening, our economy, our, um, you know, people talking about, you know, people dying uh, everywhere, um, the wars, rumors of wars. I mean, we can go on and on on this list all around the world and we say to ourselves, we've got to be living um, really close if we're not there during the time of the tribulation, right? That's what we see people talking about. Well, I want to share a different perspective um, with you, if you will, if you don't mind, because what I see happening, because the Bible does speak uh, that there's going to be a falling away, right, uh, at the end, and so as the world is kind of going down in their in their relationship with God, getting worse and worse, I see God's coming up, and it's gonna it's gonna begin. You know, we're we've always been like this little curve right here, where you see people, uh, you know. Well, our standards, standards are a little bit bigger, higher than the lost. Uh, I, I always use the, um, the uh, analogy of Walmart. You know, you couldn't tell the, the saved from the lost if you just went to Walmart. But we're going to start seeing the difference as we see the people begin to become more and more lawless in their ways. We're going to start seeing the church begin to rise up. Um, pain and agony and struggle have a way of saying, I'm done with this, I just need Jesus. For the true believer, for the ones that are false, it is not going to happen. Now, I, I say all that because I believe we're living in a time when God wants to raise up this remnant, this last day's remnant, the church, because I believe it's time for us to win people to Christ. Now's the time, now's the hour to do so. And so what better, you know, as, as everything starts tanking, now's the time when our message ought to be better. I'm telling you, we should be living in a world today where the, where the church resembles Jesus more and more like ever, never before. And so, you know, you're either going to go down the tank with the world or you're going to live up and get on the journey and get on the mountaintop with God. Amen. So having said all that, I want to go to this scripture real quick, and we're going to examine all of Hebrews chapter 12 in the days ahead. I think you're going to enjoy this chapter, but Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, he says, therefore. Now, the reason why I want to go into Hebrews is because he's the therefore talks about chapter 11, right? Therefore, what took place before chapter 12 is chapter 11. And Hebrews chapter 11 speaks about this hall of faith. All these Old Testament saints that went before us, that came to faith, that, that did great things in the name of Jesus, so, you know, in the name of the Lord, looking forward to the, to see Jesus one day. And he said, since, therefore, since we are surrounded, he goes on to say, by so great a cloud of witnesses. They are our cloud of witnesses, our cheerleaders, our examples that we're to follow. He said, Therefore, because of them that went before us, who showed us the way that we ought to be, and and by the way, we've got it even better because now we have the Holy Spirit living inside us all the time, whereas back then, Hebrews 1.1 1, 1 says God came on them at various times. Uh, we have the Holy Spirit with us all the time. Therefore, let us lay aside every weight, every weight, let us decide every weight of sin and sin, which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So it's not a sprint. And the, the rest of this chapter really goes in to talking about preparation. I want you to know how God is preparing you to be the part of this hall of faith, that you can be like these guys that came before you. And so everything that we see here in chapter 12 is preparation. That's why we need to talk about it. We need to talk about what God has been doing in your life, the struggles that you're going through, everything that you think is so bad, the things that are going on in the world, and why aren't things like they used to be? It's all preparation for what God is preparing for you. So we're going to talk about that in, in the days of, to come. But I will tell you this, if you read chapter 12, he does say something funny. He says, it's almost like, stop your whining, guys. You don't have it as bad as they had it. No one's getting cut and get cut in half like in chapter eleven, like Isaiah. Uh, you've not been to the cross like Jesus. It's not that bad. You are going to go through some stuff, 
but it's all part of the journey. I want you to be my witnesses. So we're going to talk about this in the days ahead. God bless you all. Hope that you have an amazing week. And we're going to talk a little bit later. If you don't know Jesus, today is the, is the hour, is the moment when you need to just call upon his name. And I guarantee you, if it's, if it's by faith, confess your sins and, and believe with your heart, Jesus will come in and be your Lord and Savior. Till next time, God bless it. See ya.